we followed this story when we were back from holidays in September, Tony. Yep. His name's Tristan Miller, and he's attempting to run 52 marathons. That's one a week for the next calendar year right around the world. If there's a marathon on in the city, he'll fly there and run it, then move on to the next one. And hocked, hocked his house, hocked everything to, uh, to do this. To do it. We find him in Zurich. The marathon starts in two hours' time. It's the first of 52, one a week for the next year. Tristan, good morning. G'day, guys. How are you going? Oh, good, thanks, Tristan. A Happy lot of planning. Happy to you, Bo. Yeah, thank you. A lot of planning's gone into this, a lot of sacrifices, as Tony said. How do you feel? Two hours out and a long road ahead. Oh, look, I'd be lying if I say I said I wasn't a bit nervous. I am a bit nervous, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping this one, once it gets going, will just feel like another four-hour run. But, uh, but the chances of that happening with uh, being about sub two degrees, I think, outside, something like that, is, uh, is not likely. It's going to be a little bit cold, and, uh, and, but pretty interesting, I hope. Uh, the training, the lead-up, any injuries? Are you totally fit? Because you'd need to be for what you're undertaking. Yeah, look, I did have some injuries, guys. You know, that, that, that was uh, a bit of a problem for me around when I last spoke to you uh, in, in September. There was a few little things I had to work through, but uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really good to go now. I've had a stellar month of, uh, of running well and running a long, long way, doing sort of 35k uh, runs and that sort of thing and a couple of triathlons. So I feel pretty good and ready to roll. What time do you expect to do the first one in? Keep in mind every marathon is 42.2 k's or 26 miles, 385 yards in the old measurement. What time are you looking at for your first one and for future ones? Look, I'd love to get this one done in under four hours. I think most of my marathons will sit at about three and a half hours to 3.45. But the fact that this one's in the middle of the night and I think about sort of... uh, 80% 80% of it is trail running. In other words, you, there's not, not a paved road or anything you're running along. It's actually out in the middle of nowhere. Is that um, right? Some track that they've got along the river. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and that being the case, and it being the middle of the night and them giving me a little headlamp to run with, yeah. uh, I, I really don't know how, how fast I'm going to go through that one. No, for sure. It's the first one in Zurich. Uh, where does number two see you? Yeah, it's in uh, Tiberias in Israel, right. so, uh, among uh, the uh, some of the ancient ruins around uh, Tiberias. Apparently, it's a really beautiful space, and apparently it's uh, below sea level as well, which is kind of cool. That'll be interesting. Now, some of the other classic marathons, we've got the London, New York, and, of course, uh, Boston marathons. Are they included in the calendar of events uh, leading up yeah. in the next 12 months? Yeah, they're all in there. The Big Five are all there, and Berlin's there as well, and Chicago. So that's pretty amazing. But there's also some cool ones like uh, the Great Wall Marathon, and uh, Rwanda's in there. A marathon in Easter Island, which would be pretty interesting. So, and what's some pretty what's, varied places to go to? And, and what's the support like that you've had? Has this story has it grown legs, and have you got much media uh, coverage for the events that you're doing? Yeah, look, I, I really have. It's been pretty amazing. Uh, I, I even got uh, my face on the Today Show the day before I left, which was uh, pretty cool. Um, and uh, and also in the Sydney Morning Herald up in Sydney there, in the uh, in the Sun Herald. And the great thing about that is that little bit of extra exposure has um, sent people to the site, and a lot of people have been donating to UNICEF because of it. So I've been feeling pretty pumped about that. It, yeah. makes, it means that I really am doing it for the kids. I'm not just sort of hoping I would be. You That's know? right. What's it cost you, Tristan? Uh, the whole thing's costing about 150 grand. That, that it brings my mate Darren Foss with me, and he's here, and he's had a couple of beers, and he's hoping to still do a 10k run tonight. So I think it'll go pretty well doing that. All right, <laughs> but, Tristan. Uh, but it definitely has added up. We want the 3AW uh, family to uh, track you down. Do it for UNICEF. Donate if you can. Give us the website so we can track your progress. One marathon a week for the next 52 weeks. You're two hours away from the starting gun of race number one with 52 to go. Watch the website address we can follow your progress on. It's runlikecrazy.com, Darren. And, uh, th- thanks for giving it a plug. We have been getting great support there, and thanks to you guys for uh, supporting this and, and a very mem- momentous time in my life. Yeah, good luck with uh, race number one in two hours, and thanks for joining us. It's runlikecrazy.com, no.au. Thanks for the call. Uh, Thor, thanks to uh, to you, Tristan, for making yourself available. With only two hours to go, Tony.